rhododendrons around the campus. But it's not perfect rhododendron country. A couple of dry summers and they've really struggled. And it's a shame really because when you see them at the best they are beautiful plants. There are a number of different types of rhododendrons. The, the biggest uh, centre of diversity of rhododendrons is in Asia. And this is a lovely um, little Japanese uh, hybrid one. This is rhododendron Yakushimainum. And you probably can't see them here, but if I turn the leaf over, I'll get a close-up in a minute. It's got this fantastic ingimentum or tormentum under the leaf. And here is, you can just see it here, the ingimentum on the bottom of the leaf of rhododendron Yakushimainum. Lovely flowers now, almost past the best. I'll just show you this one. What's really nice about them, pink in the bud, as you see here, lovely white, slightly mottled flower in the middle when it comes to bloom. Okay, so I said about these um, rhododendrons not being the best for this type of um, environment here. It's too dry in Essex. As you see here, we can see some dead material. This is most likely being caused by root damage. It's possible because we have a very slightly acidic soil here, which is why we can grow the rhododendrons. So it's possible it could have been a bit of vine weevil damage. Um, it could also be a little bit of phytophthora in the soil because we've had a bit of wet weather recently following the dry. Rhododendrons really like it to be moist all the time. Where I learned to uh, do my horticulture in the first place, the Lake District, the uh, garden I worked in got up to 120 inches of rain a year and we got fantastic rhododendrons. Nonetheless, worthwhile considering my top tip for this though, put it in a pot. <laughs>